Good morning, my friends. It's Wednesday of the 10th week of Ordinary Time. And a question for you. Do you ever get tired of being tired? Do you ever find like you're on this wild roller coaster of life and you're trying to do the right things and you know, you just end up being tired a lot? Well, I can relate to that. For much of my life, uh, I tried to do the right thing. I was a rule follower from a young age, tried to live a moral life. But of course, there were times when I sinned, I'd go to confession, I'd often confess the same things, go back out of the world and repeat the same cycle. And it seemed like, you know, here I am trying to do the right thing and just end up being tired. This struck me in the first reading today from St. Paul to the Corinthians. It says, for the letter brings death, but the spirit gives life. What is St. Paul talking about? Um, I believe, because he goes on to talk about that they could not look intently on the face of Moses because of its glory um, that was going to fade. How much more will the ministry of the spirit be glorious? So Moses brought down the Ten Commandments, the letter of the law. And the Ten Commandments are good. In fact, they're, they're, they show us how to follow God. But they were fulfilled by Jesus. We hear in the Gospel today, Jesus says, Do not think that I've come to abolish the law. He didn't come to get rid of the Ten Commandments. But he says, I came to, not to abolish them, but to fulfill them. And so Jesus fulfilled the law, basically with one word, he says, love. The first three commandments are about loving God. The next seven are about loving neighbor. Love is willing the good of the other person. Love is about relationship, right? And so it made me think, you know, in our Beform group, one of the guys says, you know, I had a lot of religion, but no relationship. And once I found a relationship with, with God, with Jesus, with the Holy Spirit, everything changed. The letter brings death, but the Spirit gives life. Do we have life in the Holy Spirit? Do we have a relationship with God? Sometimes when we hear that, we think, oh, I hear that from my Protestant friends, but not Catholic. But really, if you you read from Peter, the first pope, to Francis, our current pope, every single one of them talks about having a deep relationship with God in some form or another. And my experience is, Once I started to form a relationship with God by learning how to pray, by learning how to dialogue with God through Lectio Divina and reading the scriptures, my relationship came alive. And the tiredness started to go away because I started to be able to receive graces from God on a regular basis. When I learned that I was a beloved son of God, not just intellectually, but that God loves me, that God that the Holy Spirit lives inside of me, that God wants to have an intimate part of every aspect of my life. And I wanted to make him, you know, the Lord of my life, the king of, you know, everything that I do. Wow, that's when everything started to change. And so I just want to encourage you as we we go through this, um, these readings, to, to think about, do I have a relationship with God? I remember one time, and I may have shared this before, but it, it's worth repeating. In prayer one day, I was climbing this ladder to heaven because I always believed that I had to be perfect in order for God to love me. And so it, it was like a form of what we call neo-Pelagianism. Pelagianism is kind of working our way to heaven. It's a heresy. We're saved by, by grace uh, and faith, but then it's followed by loving actions. And so as I'm climbing this ladder to heaven, and you know, the higher and faster I climb, the more exhausting it gets. I hear this voice behind me saying, let go. And I said, I looked down and I saw Jesus on the ground. It's, you now this is prayer. And I said, no, I've got this. You know, I'm, I'm in control. And Jesus said, let go. And he had his arms open wide. And so I fell off the ladder in my prayer, fell into the arms of Jesus. And as I, I felt like a little boy in his arms, and his piercing, loving eyes went right into mine. And I felt the love of God. And I felt liberated, like, I don't have to do this anymore. Jesus just wants me to love him and to let him work through my life. So I want to encourage you, my friends, if you're tired of trying to follow the letter of the law, and it's not a bad thing, but do you have a relationship? Jesus invites you to let go 
and to let him work in and through you. Let him love you. Let him show you that you are his beloved son or beloved daughter and let him take the reins. It's going to be a wild ride, but it's not tiring. It's the most exhilarating ride of your life. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for the Ten Commandments, for the ways that you show us how to follow you. We thank you for first loving us. Help us to respond in kind, to desire a deep relationship with you, to love you with our whole heart, mind, and soul. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day.